All right, hello football gamers. Welcome back to Madden Football Gaming. Today we got veterans released into the game. Brandon Marshall is sick. I think he's better than Calvin Johnson if you compare the stats, especially on my theme team, which is Broncos. He is better. But even without a theme team, I think he's I think he's probably better than Calvin Johnson um, with the stats. Run blocking is amazing. Catch, route running, all that stuff. He's 6'5 as well. He's 230 pounds as well. Looks really, really good. So, uh, And he's probably pretty cheap. Uh, for a veteran, if not, eventually you'll be able just to grab him out of your free packs if you're doing your solos. So definitely pick him up if possible. But we got new fan appreciation packs in the store. The odds are supposed to be better. So we're going to open it. I don't suggest that you open all these today if you're going to open these at all. I would wait till new uh, um, golden tickets come out right on Friday. So they're going to be boosted odds. Maybe you get a chance to pull the new ones. Uh, etc. We're going to open these up uh, just to have a little bit of fun today and see what we can actually get. There's 75,000 coins apiece, so I want to show you what we get and see if they really are good or not. Okay, Brandon Marshall. Oh, that would have been sick, right? Okay, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah, not anything great there. There's no lights there too, but another thing that I wanted to say, because I'm going to turn most of this into training, don't quick sell your draft players, all right? So um, Rookie Premier is going to be coming out in the next couple weeks. And last year, and I think other years too, they had these draft players that went into sets to get tokens, to get Rookie Premier, stuff like that. So don't quick sell these draft players, even if it's an 89, because you can take those 89s um, and you can go ahead and build a 91. You can take the 91s, you can build a 93, 93s, build 95s, etc. right? So don't just uh, uh, quick sell them. Hold on to them. You're not going to get a ton of training for them anyway, so just hold on to them. I also hold on to the 85 so I can go ahead and build whatever Ultimate Legend comes out um, on the weekend. So I can just build them super quick and make a ton of coins off it or keep them if I really want to. As we get a big NFL Legend. Come on, baby. 95. I'll totally take it. Totally take it. 91, 85, another 85, another 91. Not a bad pack. Not a bad pack. All right, we're going to quick sell this. We're going to quick sell this. Keep the 85s and keep our draft player because we don't know what's going to go into the sets. And those uh, draft um, players could be super, super profitable. We could be able to sell them later or use them for tokens, wherever the case is. So definitely hold on to them uh, if you can. That'd be my suggestion. 96 Ed Reed totally just blew through that. Wow. That's got to be worth some coins, especially since the new Ed Reed just came out. We'll have to take a look at that and see what that's worth. Not a bad pack. Let's see. Is it 75000 Is it 75000 We'll We'll get something back. There we go. There we go. We're going to get a hundred. We're going to sell for 110. 110,000 coins went way over. Um, good. Got a, uh, a good pull there. And obviously, we'll hold on to the 93 um, for draft. But we'll quick sell. We'll quick sell. Ah, you know what? I'm going to hold on to the um, to the most feared as well because you can build uh, 92 uh, LT or you can build Derrick Henry, stuff like that. Derrick Henry still may get an upgrade. Maybe a super good one to uh, uh, have. You also have DK Metcalf and some other ones. So I'm going to hold on to the most feared as well. 93 Joe Thomas. Not bad. Not a big one, but still 91. 90 Jamal Adams. 90, 89. Okay. I mean, they're okay. Uh, I'm going to hold on to 93. I'll uh, quick sell these. Um, not bad. I think the Jamal Adams might be actually selling for decent coins, so I'll hold on to him a little bit. Two more of these packs. Two more of these packs to see what we get here. Uh, do I feel like they're a little bit better than, than last time? Yes. Do I feel like I'm making coins back on it? No. I don't think so. Uh, I'll have to add, you know, I'll have to add it up at the end, but I don't think so. You know what? I might hold on to that one. Maybe I can build something. Maybe I can build a set, something like that. Um, they might be okay. They might be okay. I, I don't think that they're going to make any profit, but they may be okay if you hold on to the draft cards, you put some other ones into sets. You may be close to even here, but... That's worth a big pull of a 96 at a read, though, too. All right. That's what we got. We didn't get a lot of big stuff there. Um, we got an okay amount of training. 
We can probably build the most feared player. We got some good draft cards we can hold on to. Um, no golden tickets or anything like that. So if you're gonna open up, my suggestion would be open them up when new golden tickets come out uh, when they're in the game. You know, and that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, other than that, maybe uh, um, this right here, this 10 time elite players might be good. I've opened that a couple times today. Maybe I'll make a video on it, but it was pretty good for me. I made profit each time, not a ton, but a little. And I always love pro fantasy packs. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick video showing you what we get uh, with fan appreciation packs, kind of what we're pulling out of there and, and how they're looking. If you do like this content, please do like and subscribe. We'll bring you more content like this in the future. But thank you so much for watching and have a great day out there. Thanks.